get all the water out. See, like this, 100% humidity. Yeah. And the inlet air is just laden with water. They just go through there, and it's steam when it comes out. But what you do, from the, <coughs> the bottom, excuse me, from the bottom of the gasifier, the wood gas comes out the bottom, goes into that middle barrel, and then goes up, and then goes into these rails. It comes back, and as it comes back, it cools off and condenses that water. And then back here at the back, this pipe goes through to a tank underneath the back here. And that catches your water, your condensation. From that tank, it goes into that barrel on the left. That's full of hay. That's your final filter. <laughs> Mother Nature's provision for a, a good, final, fine filter. And it's wet because there's more condensation going on there. And there's a drain on it. You have to drain this tank. You have to drain that tank. Those uh, pipes on the side of the hopper up there, right there. See, that, that steam and smoke will circulate convection through those pipes. And the outside of the barrel is uninsulated, so you'll get condensation on the inside. It drips down through those pipes. You'll get condensation, and it drips down. There's a gutter in the bottom of the barrel right here. The, uh, the moisture that comes the water, vapor off the wood, off the air, uh, acetic acid. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. look like water. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got acetic acid in it, tannic acid from, from the wood. Uh, it's got some, some of the impurities from the wood, you know, they boil out when you heat the wood. And so uh, it collects in there. You get about a gallon in 100 miles. Of that kind of water, and then this other, the big one is we well, saw that little dab of black. That's wood tar. And they used to call it Stockholm tar. And they doctored horses' hoofs. They, you know, put it in a horse hoof and get a solid plate over the hoof rather than just a shoe. And it had medical properties. And it, 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 you know, it was beneficial for horses, but it, it's wood tar. It is different from petroleum tar because if you get wood tar in your hand, gasoline will cut it. Touch it. It's just a different chemistry. And so it's kind of interesting. But that's that's where the water goes from the hay filter, then it just goes straight up to the engine. Uh, it's uh, uh, engine grade gas at that point. Uh, kind of like not quite as powerful as propane. That's why you lose some of your horsepower. And uh, since wood gas is a one to one ratio with air get proper combustion. Gasoline is 14 to 1. And so with a standard ordinary motor, you just can't cram enough wood gas into it on the downstroke to give you the full horsepower that you'd like to have that, that the motor would get for. And so <clears throat> you have to degrade your engine. If, you, if you're hooking up to a, a 20 horsepower, you know, 20 kW generator, the motor's going to be less, the generator's going to be less. And so it's, you can go 500 pounds of wood, 400 miles. Uh, I haven't dumped anything. I gotta go to the motel. I'll go to the back side of the motel and dump my water out. I can find a piece of car wash around here. That's right. And uh, I need to empty the ash. That's the other byproduct. Oh, you can't see it. It's a little further under there. There's ammo boxes upside down. You can see the, the corner of it, right? And there's another one on the inside of the flame. You, you dump those, and, and that's the biochar. It's carbon, all this pure carbon out there. And uh, you know, I like getting five, six hundred miles on it to dump that up. But it's what collects, you know, it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn everything up in terms of charcoal. It's like a campfire, you know, you let it go. You come out the next morning, there's still chunks of charcoal in there that get burned up. What is that? And the grate is on a is on chain, so as you drive down the road, it wiggles a little bit. A little bit of stuff falls off, but that just keeps the whole process going. It renews the charcoal. All the wood becomes charcoal. Uh, you need fair-sized wood up to this side to have decent-sized charcoal, because in downdraft, it has to breathe. All that gas has to go through the charcoal. If you have small wood, small charcoal. Oh, uh, like a no yeah. yeah. <coughs> Managing that char bed is absolutely number one important job because if it gets weak and it's gone, that car will get cracked. You're going to have to smoke at the engine.
engine, water vapor, and smoke and creosote. And when it cools, you shut it off at night and it cools, guess what? It'll stick around. Bam. You'll be so sorry the next time. <laughs> so, you may be watching my new car bed, make sure it's going right, and make sure you chunk the size is right. Uh, we'll have that in the console uh, on the, uh, above and below the char bed, so that if you see a big pressure drop from the top to the bottom, you know you're going to get the out. Put in some green wood like you just want to put the cooking people in there, uh, or bigger, even bigger wood, make sure you chunk it. By the same token, if the ratio was like one to one, everybody just going straight through. And that's the trouble. And it's not going to be here, you know, some soot, some carbon, but some of that goes to the engine. Solid fuel in a V8 engine. You ever hear of anything? Well, what you have enough to do. That doesn't, that doesn't gum the engine up or anything? No, it don't. It runs, runs well. It runs good. With the particulate the matter?
Max Strange. I don't know. In fact, you know, the transmission is offside. But they're French. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I got one question. What happens when you go to get this thing inspected? To what? To get oh, it inspected. Arkansas don't have inspection. You're lucky. Uh, so when we're here, then. Yeah. You know, some states it's a problem. Uh, the worst states, you know, they're going to say, oh, you have modified the motor, you know. It's not going to happen. Some states, all they do is just sniff your exhaust. If it's okay, it's okay. Well, these exhaust would pass California emissions. So, you know, some states. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Burning the wood, wood burns clean. Yes. Yeah. The, the wood gas burns very, very clean. It's like hydrogen. You know, it's hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane. And with the right uh, air fuel ratio, they burn very, very clean. And so, and they see those guys in California that are building gasifiers for stationary units for generators. All power labs in Berkeley, California. And they can build them in California and sell them and operate them in California because the exhaust of the gas fire has an air quality standard in California. So, now some, some states, they're real, real, real picky. Uh, you know, I don't know how, how other states do, but there's, there's a bunch of the gas fires in Michigan, so they must not be worth it. I don't know, there's one or two down here in Texas. I'm not sure who's got them down here. I don't know what Texas is like. Well, if um, you can pass the gas test and your blinkers and your horn works, you should be good. Okay, uh, yeah, somebody that's all you need. I got a dirty hand. Yeah, be careful, buddy. Good to yeah, see you. Good all right, straight trip check. back. So okay. good to meet you. Thank you for the ride. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Right. Looking forward to see that truck. Absolutely. That's great. Thank that's you next cool. time. Yeah. He just got signed up to the wood gas for him, and I bought him a truck. Gonna start building. Mm -hmm. Cool. <coughs> That's interesting. Mm -hmm. This is pretty <coughs> cool. When you start off, it won't make good gas for a little bit, you know. Uh, even on the blower, you speed up the process. See, all I'm doing, I'm running that one blower right there. Those are marine build blowers. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, just one of them. I don't do a whole lot. So, say you know that you're going to go to the store and you're going to come back and you're going to spend a couple hours at home and then you're going to leave again. Mm -hmm. when you go to, after you get back from the store, do you just kind of like close up all the yeah. inlet valves yeah. and just let it kind of smolder? Then when yeah. you're ready to go, you yeah. just open it back up? Right. It? You're going to hold a fire for two hours. You know, if you're someplace going to a movie or something, you can come out. And for the most part, you can come out, maybe turn the fans on to stoke the fire up a little bit, start driving, and you're good to go. There it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's uh, going now. There was. That one stayed on. Uh, it just went yeah. out. Yeah. In, in the daylight, it's invisible. Yeah. It shows up good on the camera. <laughs> Showing up yeah, there. You can. can't see it. Yeah, I was seeing purple. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Have you ever had problems with backfiring through the system? Yes. <laughs> is it like a very often thing or just yes. every now and again? Most of the time, when you load it up and you close the lid, if you don't get all the oxygen out or something going on, you don't get a bum 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 like that. One time I was doing a show, I got parked there, I got set up, I said, oh, I want to set up a wood in there, so I can do this, but we're part of the wood right now. And I opened the lid, but you never open the wood in like that, just to use a, the poker to open it in the distance. I got to this side of the shot. I did, it was a long time. It went off the 